What's up, y'all? So this video here in particular is about Corey, his new boo, Maddie, text messages, Corey, text messages. I have a video that is on Patreon that is about Corey going live, basically uh, talking about Maddie um, and a breakdown of his text, well, her text messages that he exposed, which led her to expose the text messages here. I just want y'all to know it's on the Patreon. The link will be in the pinned comment. If you want to tap in, tap in. If you don't want to, you do not have to. I'm not forcing you to. I'm not begging you to. If you would like to and you want to support me and me sitting here for five hours, <laughs> tap in. If not, that's fine. See it somewhere else. Love y'all. Bye. I mean, love you. Enjoy. I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Now, y'all, normally I don't do these t-style videos well at least not anymore um because um i ain't gonna lie it's just a lot it's a lot you got to get a lot of information you got to have a lot of time today i have time all right uh, we four hours in girl the tea is hot people are just spilling all of their little tea today and uh last night maddie went live and she was speaking on Corey and a woman that Corey was talking to right so the woman that she's talking about, she said that she looked like um Saw, right? So, of course, you know, people give a description. I want y'all to know, I'm going to start here. I'm not being funny when I'm about to show what I'm about to show. And I'm saying that because um, it's, it was an example for me. So, you know, when you, when you want to see how people look, like you, <laughs> you will give an example. Like me, the stub with the big titties. Here we are. You know what I'm saying? I got the big boobs. Everybody gonna know it's me. If if you say it's a uh, neek with the small titties, clearly you would know it's not me, right? All right. So she said that the woman looked like Saul. And you know what? I'm not even about to. I'm not even about to um, go to the pictures. But what I am gonna say is um, we know who Shawty is. Now, I'm also all of this is alleged. All of this is alleged. Okay. Let me just put that out there. So this beautiful chocolate queen right here is the alleged. All right. Woman that he is talking to now. When everything has come out, everybody's sending me shit. I ain't went looking for none of it today. Everybody's on live. They sending it to me. Uh, and you know, I'm just gathering the information. So this is her. And she lives out in Texas and Corey is in Texas. And today Corey was driving a Rolls Royce that was, that has white and blue interior. Right? So, you know, Corey was kind of going in on people like y'all can't drive the type of cars that I'm driving. And we was like, wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> Corey, this is this woman's car, right? So by this time, I'm still saying alleged. I think I got it figured out. So I'm just, I'm going with the flow. So I'm like, all right, this is shorty. Sis got a bag. She's older. Um, Completely got her shit together. Her house is amazing. I'm going to show y'all why he done gave up, you know, gave up everything with the house. I, I just want y'all to know that. But anyway, so boom. I'm like, okay, this is her. So he done moved on to a black woman because, you know, he has issues with us, okay? Corey said, and I quote, he don't like black women. That's what he said. It's no need to, to I'm, I'm going to say alleged anyway, but at some point he ain't necessarily care for us, but you would think differently when you with a, a, a boss. You get what I'm saying? So anyway, so boom, I'm like, all right. We got it figured out. But then they went live today, him and Shorty together, because he was talking to, um, you know, fans and stuff, trying to, you know, ask them his their opinion on his situation or whatever. So, boom, we like, all right. We just listening. Oh, no, 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 that's not it. Boom, that's not it. Boom, okay. Girl, get off my screen. Uh, Maddie. Can you do me a favor and get the hell off my screen? Okay, boom. All right, so boom. I'm going to have to make this smaller because I'm, I'm going to show y'all the house in a minute. Not the address or nothing, although she already leaked her own address when she did it earlier today. But boom, let's get into this. How you doing? 
Hey, Corey, how you doing? I'm doing good. good. Hey, Corey, how you doing? They trying to act like they don't know each other. How do you feel about the, a lot of the allegations about, about my name? It's, it's one allegation I want to clear up because, you know, I have nothing negative to say about you. Now, when she said one allegation she wanted to clear up, I'm like, what you mean clear up? This is what I'm thinking while reacting to it live or whatever. Maddie, I don't know the situation like that. You know, it's a lot of people just tagging me in comments saying I'm your new girlfriend. So I just want to clear something up that I reached out. So one thing Corey going to do is give it away. Right. And at the time I was so aggravated because he'd been going live all day just with people. I, I just didn't notice it. Like but y'all, we know when Corey lie. You know, it's a lot of people just tagging me in comments saying I'm your new girlfriend. So, so I just want to clear something. Now, when he used to do this with pranks, right? What? Huh? What you talking about? Uh, the, the faces gave it away. It gave it away, but let's continue to listen. Up that I reached out to Corey. Well, my PR reached out to Corey to do a promo for my uh, new dessert shop, Peach Cobbler Factory, that's opening. So Corey was telling me his dates uh, of when he, he's going to be in Dallas. And all of a sudden, I get a call from a Georgia number, and she called my phone like going crazy. So okay. I just want to clear that. Now, let's keep in mind, she called his phone. He's going to be in Dallas. And all of a sudden, I get a call from a Georgia number, and she called my phone start. like going crazy. So I just want to clear that. So she called his phone. Now, Corey said that uh, Maddie took his phone or he, he gave it to her to, for her to use or something he felt bad for or something. And this is how she got that woman uh, number, um, allegedly. <clears throat> and another thing I want to clear up is chaotic speaking neg neg negatively on my name to her Word. and i'm riding i'm riding in a maybach right now that he say is his maybach so the same uh. maybach that he put up yeah the same maybach that he posted saying that he bought himself a maybach i'm riding in it right now no no, no. yeah he called. you said what now the one he posted yeah the one the one the one that he posted he had wrapped in matte black wait 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 what the fuck he say now nah, he said it's his. Come on. Okay, man. hold on. So let's go back. The one, the, the one that he posted. He had wrapped in matte black. Oh, wait, 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 that's not the same Texas address. I just want y'all to know that. But she was bold enough to show her damn registration. The, it's in Atlanta. Um, she's in Texas, but I just wanted y'all to know that she bold enough to show her registration. So don't come for me when I show this house and I'm not showing her address. Cause that's doxing and her address is public. By the way, I'm just going to show the pool. Okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, uh, it was never his. T. -T. Okay. Yeah, well, I'm asking ask, ask, ask more people. So I'm I, just trying to get a lot of, I don't even time. know why he's speaking, speak like, talking to Maddie about me and this and that and all that kind of stuff. Like, nigga, you, you stunning in my Maybach for 30 days. And then when I got my Maybach. Now, Corey, how can you be shocked that she just said that he's stunned in her Maybach for 30 days? She going to say the same shit about you when you, while, while you stunting in her Rolls Royce. So y'all peep this shit. She just brought that up. While you've been stunting in my Maybach for 30 days. Corey is stunting in her Rolls Royce. <laughs> so soon as she done with him, she going to say the same shit. You know, the first thing she going to do, nigga, give me my car back. Get, get out of my house. You understand me? He done met his match for real, in real life. I can't wait. <laughs> I had to fix my own tire. You didn't even have the money to fix my tire on my Maybach. Oh, God. That was oh, yeah. all good. That ain't good. Though. You nah, know, they don't. I, I don't know. Those are two allegations every, I want to clear this, up. This, this, what this, Matt, this. Maddie saying something about chaotic saying something about me, and everybody tagging me saying I'm your new girlfriend, but it was really for a promo for my company. I ain't, I ain't entertain that shit. Like you feel like if people go, they go say what they want to say. You feel me? They go, but I, I, I ain't stunned the allegation. But I'm gonna say this though, you know. With Corey SSG, I done had over 40 calls. I paid for my own money. You know what I'm saying? I still got a lot of them, you know. 
I didn't have my own. I, I I can't relate to that. I'm sorry. So I'm out that conversation. Respectfully. Exactly. So yeah. All right. So I'm gonna ask. You. Those are the only two things that I wanted to clear up because she don't even. Okay. Said, Why I'm... are you talking to Kayada anyway? If you pregnant, and you just y'all just broke up two three two three days ago, you already talking to Kayada. <laughs> Y'all just broke up two, three days ago and you already talking to Chaotic. So is she talking to Chaotic? I don't. So that part right there, I don't understand. Because it's given. Shorty is talking to Corey now. Uh, Maddie is talking to Chaotic. And how the fuck did that happen? So it is given like this might be a um, reality show, but I'm not sure. And let's not forget. Maddie is an actress. Y'all told me that last night. So I know that y'all telling me about the voice memo. Hold on one second. I need to do my lineup. So yesterday, Corey went live with Zoe. And he, my, so mind you, that girl just said, Corey ain't her boyfriend or whatever, whatever. So boom. Corey was just live yesterday. Because it's Help. at this woman's house or she will reveal her pictures and videos that's in his phone hold on so boom what are you doing Corey showed the house down. he showed the uh the pool Where are they Corey, Corey, huh? so you God damn. Corey showed the pool. Now, as y'all can see with the pool, you got a little jacuzzi right there. Then you got the uh the big pool right there, right? All right, so boom. I'm like, okay. <laughs> We're gonna have to find this house. I didn't have to shout out to uh one of my faves. She just sent it to me. So I'm like, okay. Let's see the pool. Baby, that's the pool. And y'all would say, how do I know that this is her house? Well, <laughs> she hasn't posted. <laughs> then you would say, well, how do you know it's the exact pool? You go look at, <laughs> you go look at the, you go look at what's in the backyard. You look at the pool, you look at the gates, right? So I'm looking at her picture on Instagram like, nigga, it ain't no gate there. But when you zoom in, <laughs> it's a gate. <laughs> it's a gate. So with the gate, with the house, all right? And then <laughs> it's funny because Corey always giving shit away. Then boom, this is the gate. Boom. So therefore, this is the house. Yeah. <laughs> and this is the pool. <laughs> Yo, I just want to say this though. This woman has a beautiful house. Beautiful house. Four cars, four car garage. By the way, it's a three boat dock. Uh, I don't know if you could just store three boats, however it go back there by that pool. But anyway, six bedroom, seven bathroom, by the way, $1.8 million. Sis is balling. I am no hater. I wasn't making this video to be a hater. I'm just making this video to show y'all that Corey always snitching on what people got going on himself. He always snitches on himself. Y'all showed me the house. I can't go looking for the house because I don't know how to do that shit. But y'all sent it to me. All right. So I just wanted to put that out there. Now, um, Maddie is exposing Corey's messages. Girl, when I say the tea is hot today and we are up to date. I ain't got to wait on voice. I ain't got to wait on tea room. <laughs> so let's do this. We about to get into her story, girl, because Maddie got something to say today. Because Corey went live today and exposed some of Maddie's text messages. But that live is going to be on my Patreon. If y'all want to tap in, the link will be in the pinned comment. Understand that. 
All right, so boom. <clears throat> These are the text messages. Corey said, I'm going to go get help. Sorry for hurting you. I'm dying inside and out, uh, spreading my hurt. I must go away. All right. He was sending cryptic message messages to her. I wanted you to know. And she said, I wanted you to know that you didn't have and don't ever have to do it alone. No matter how much you try to push me away. I want you to know that I chose you and I love you. So many people do. I will support you, whether it close, whether it's close or from a distance, I'm on your side. I'm cheering you on and, uh, we'll be here whenever you get back. Uh, take all the time you need. I will miss you more than you'll know, but your mental health comes first he said i'm going to get a spiritual cleanse right now i'm dying literally um i don't know if she was saying your latter days or your later days uh will be better than the first you will live and not die you will overcome and not be overtaken in jesus name i wish there was a way for me to take all your pain away okay the next message he said i'm done maddie i'm out of here she said i love you she said, I love you. Your mom loves you. Your dad loves you. Your kids love you. Your siblings love you. Precious love you. Boosie loves you. Duke loves you. And so many more. <clears throat> he says, sorry, but you're about to hear about my death. Talking crazy, y'all. Um, hold on. Let me get all this here. Ah, uh, damn. Um, let me get my last words. Let my last words be. I'm sorry, but it's not fair when my truth is overlooked by lies and I'm painted to be this person. I'm not. Hopefully everyone gets to see the real and the truth soon or later. I wish you the best. Be strong. She said, I won't be strong. I won't stay alive. If you do this to me, I'm gone. Life isn't fair, CJ, but you make it, you make it out. You make most out of it. I'm gonna let y'all know right now. Um, unfortunately, you know what? I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that at all. Y'all take it how y'all want to. Um, gaslighting is a real thing, and it's a real thing to play on someone's soft heart um, simply because you're not having it your way. Um, and Corey can't even lie about these things. He used to do it all the time on Twitter. He's on Twitter every chance he got. He used to say he, we just knew he was going to be gone every other week. Um, but gaslighting is very much so real. Uh he said, I'm sorry, but I'm going to tell you where you really hurt my feelings at. I just don't want to argue, Maddie. Like, honestly, I just been holding back from going through the same cycle. She said, I'm honestly with all the sincerity clocked out. Like I said, I'm happy for you. Glad I got to help. But I genuinely don't think this is going to work. I've lost hope because it's back to back. We both trigger each other and I've lost myself in you. I've lost myself in a man. I don't even know uh, who I am because I gave so much of myself to helping you figure shit out, healing you. And I've neglected myself. He said, Maddie, stop it. Okay. And she said, and as much as it hurts to say it, I'm not growing. I just was sharing my heart. I'm no longer mad. I'm just realizing. Uh, and he said, nah, cause why are you doing what you say? We not doing. That's not fair. Um, he said, I'm sorry. She said four, don't be messy. Watch what you say. Uh, so you don't get on these pages six minutes don't be late he said i'm here bay um and i'm here bay and you i'm sorry for literally just putting you through a lot i really sit and think about things you say after we talk i let it soak in and really look at it from your point of view even though i know i'm never intentionally mean to hurt you or Things like that. I do see where I need to pick up the slack. And as a man, uh, certain shit don't come with an excuse. I'll admit that. So not going to do. So I'm so. So not going to don't much taking just going to start letting my actions speak and you'll see the progress. Yes, that's exactly what he said. Don't come for me. All right. So. I don't know what this is. Is this the is this the voice memo? I could keep going. He left. Is this the voice memo? I could keep going. He left because he couldn't be a better man and saw me checking out. I still was rooting for him. I fought 
uh, for him as much as I could. And I still was willing to, for you know that even with what I've shared so far, I still protected you, but you going on the internet telling them about me clocking out mentally. That was low and you got to live with that. And now you will eat your words. I told y'all when this girl snap on this nigga, it's a wrap. I told y'all that when he first met her. She said, like I told you before, which I have on recording, I don't need nothing from you. You ain't take care of me. I paid for shit more than you. Y'all go look at the history of how we would speak or how he would speak of me. You got two managers who open up mad doors in the music industry because of me. I did that shit for you because I believed in you and wanted to see you on top. Act like, you know, I can keep going and going. You so wrong for, yes, I have my flaws, but man, you bullshit. Of course, I begged you not to go. Of course I did, nigga. Who the F uh, want to go through this ish alone after I feel like I gave so much to you? Yeah, that's my fault. It is. And I got to live with it. All right. Um, maybe even last night, the way you bounced back and apologized, that was commendable and shows me you are working on really becoming a better man. So thank you. On another note, I know I'm not the easiest to deal with, but I hope you know that my heart is for you and you've made a home out of me. There's nothing I wouldn't do for you as long as you allow me to. I'll be by your side. I love you. Um, I always gave him credit, but whole time, uh, it was a mask he was putting on a man. Oh man, you let people get in your head. Oh girl, it's a lot, but you're helping me battle myself, becoming be becoming a better man. Also, so it's like never, never think I'm just irritated with you <clears throat> a lot. It's just hey, I'm really going through a transition, and it's like it's not easy. LOL. But I appreciate you more, also for even dealing with me changing. Most women don't sit and wait on a man to mature. So I'm grateful. I just want to be the person I should be who I want to be. And that comes with loving you the way you should properly be loved. My mindset still be in the gutter. Sometimes I see, so I'm going to work on that. I love, I love you too, ma girl. How come to the garage, this side of the door. Remember where we dropped her off here coming from your point of view i was wrong and i'm sorry i may look at things differently and i have my reasonings but i can admit that on my end it was wrong and i see how i don't want to go to sleep mad or even letting the energy of this situation affect us uh let's focus on us and this blessing we about to bring in this world and not let the outside affect it i will make sure i think before i do such things that irritates you or no that it's going to have a bad consequence behind it. Girl, what? <laughs> oh, the mom. And he says, I'm acting like karma. Okay, Cora, you don't realize you're the common denominator. Oh my God, please let me know when you make it home. I will. Thank you. You okay? Yes, my best friend called CJ and told him to come back and get me. He just came. He ain't had no damn business leaving you there in the first place. I'm so over this mess with him acting crazy oh yeah now the mama want to jump in you know he be dead ass wrong oh bitch and was over there acting like with carmen she she carmen was just the problem it be them fucking mamas bro y'all need to stop being like that with these boys yeah i don't know anymore hey have you heard from him then he ain't answering the phone for you He's doing it again. Doing what? He left the house saying he's sorry. He's going to kill himself to tell everyone that he's sorry. But it's it's his time. I didn't even fight him to stay. I just couldn't do it. If you call him, please be gentle because he's driving. And if he's, if he's, I guess, yelling at, I'm afraid he will crash out. Does anyone have his location still? The mama got the location. But yeah, I'm sorry because I'm guilty of not saying things in the best way and I could have expressed myself better. I could have processed and then spoke verse, speaking right into that moment. I love you, but I'm a heart, blah, blah. I never got what I deserve. You said this every day and told me to be patient. Then one day when I'm at my lowest, you get up and just go. I love you too a lot, but I am guilty of not giving you the core you deserve. I'm trying daily and fighting battles. I must work. I must work. There's no more excuses to me not editing I wanted, I wanted to really edit it last night, but I let you 
watch a movie on the laptop. I must make up for that time I knew I could have gotten a video done. What? I was about to ask, did you bring that butter pecan ice cream? Shake my head. All right, good night. You thought it was going to make it. You thought it was going to make it all the way there? What? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This should happen. I'm not going to do it myself. This should happen. I'm not going to do it myself, but I'm done. I'm sorry. And I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I got to go out and crash my car or anything. Like, I'm done. I don't want to hear no, no more. I don't want to deal no more. I want to just go out alone, peaceful. And whatever happens, happen, I don't care. But I'm literally done. I'm hurting you, hurting everybody. Lies on me, working in this way. Don't, I don't know how to come my name up because I can't. I'm done. I'm not going to fight this. <sighs> he don't need a spiritual cleanse. He needs Jesus, okay? He went and got one and brought witchcraft on both of us. He will never take accountability. Oh, that's whoa, Vicky. Man, if you don't get your ass. She ain't lying, though. Uh, I've come so far with court, but I'm scared. And it's weird because timeline wise, yeah, it's only been a month. But every day with someone, all the memories, all the moments, the connection we have, it seems so much deeper. But I question it really real on this end. From the beginning, we were dragged into social media, and I think that's where I'm hesitant because from what I see, he's done this with other women. Ugh, you think? So how do I know I'm different? You not. Yeah, he says how, but how do I know that wasn't? He said to the last girl. <laughs> girl, I need a drink. And I don't even want to do that. Like, I don't want to drink. And clearly, I'm not going to if I don't want to. But it's like, damn, this type of shit make you want to. Girl, I got to pee. Give me a second. Uh, give me a second. I got to pee. I mean, damn. Damn. oh girl okay i guess to get straight to the point i don't want to be used by Corey. like if you gonna f with me then just do that but don't post me because you want to troll and don't post me because you're trying to prove a point at the end of the day it's not only my feelings on the line but my image which matters to me i worked hard to be where i am today f social media i am who i am in real life Social media is just a plus, and that's all I have to say right now because I still don't know all I'm feeling. I want Cloud Corey, you closed multiple deals in real life because of my connections. I never wanted to be posted. I even said, let's not, let's not take our relationships to social media. The F I thought he was using me. <laughs> um, I'm sorry if I upset you. I just wanted to be honest. Even if, even if it was just you treating me really nice today and you know planning to spend some quality time with me watch a good movie anything not just about material things but yeah again sorry for anything I may have done never asking for anything yeah I told him about my car note the other day shit you said you would help I always help you always that's what partners do I never complain I always just wanted love so f you bro 
Oh my God. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking about I'm tired. Hey, baby. I don't want to make it big deal, but I hope you understand where I'm coming from. I feel a bit sad because today is National Girlfriend Day. Today is National Girlfriend Day, and I told you it was the day before yesterday, and I and, and I reminded you multiple times. Uh, it's a day, I guess, I expected to feel special. I haven't gotten roses in weeks, and just something as simple as that would have meant something to me, a paragraph, because I'm words of affirmation, person, anything. Girl, you need a nigga that don't have a job, who you can just take care of and that can run your chores and shit. This man got a whole lot of shit on his mind. He, the nigga is literally telling you like, bro, I, 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 boy, I don't want to be here, boy. I, I, this is not a good time for me. And you think he thinking about buying you roses. It's crazy to me. Um, I know we were together all day. I know we were together all day, but you know where there is a will, there is a way. Bro, what? And yeah, I'm stupid for always asking a nigga to do right by me, but because of my circumstances, I didn't want to just get up and go. Man, what? We together all day. Just thought I should express myself. Have a good night. I'm sorry if I upset you. Just wanted to be honest, even if you just, even if it was just you treating me really nice today and you know, planning to spend some quality time with me, watch a good movie, anything, not just about material things. But yeah, again, sorry for anything I may have done. Oh, God. It. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know what I ever did to deserve this treatment, but a text back would have been nice. Sorry, just didn't know how to respond. Learning how to become more of a simple man. Don't want you or the world thinking anything else of me by my actions. Sometimes I'm better off alone to focus on my mental health. And true, your statement really rubbed me wrong earlier, but I'm cool. Just want to make sure the world is yours. My statement rubbed my statement rubbed me wrong. It's hard being in a position sitting in my seat and looking at how things play out. Saying what I said earlier sucks and doesn't feel good that uh, that's what came to my mind. I wish things were different, but they won't be until you decide to want them to be. Hopefully when you decide it's not too late, but as aforementioned, I'm sorry for expressing how I felt. Please put the candles out before coming to bed. Good night, Corey. She's so dramatic. Expressing how you felt has nothing to do with your statement from earlier. And Lord knows I try to keep away from the topic period to make sure I don't put you in an uncomfortable feeling. If it's too late, maybe that's how God planned it for it to be. You don't have to be sorry. There's nothing to be sorry about, to be honest. I'm sorry. Maybe I should have never hit you up May 31st. He's such a gaslighter. He's such a gaslighter. Oh, God. Uh, no problem. I will. I'm going to be working late, so I may not come to bed. I'll be here on the couch, get some rest. My statement from earlier was how I felt. I felt like some of your desired tweets posts are directed towards your past because in history, that's what I've seen. Unfortunately, I can't help that feeling. So I said it out of frustration paired with the fact that I feel like when you get on the internet, you do what you said you were not going to do. So that also is like concerning, almost like make you make up your mind. What does Corey want to do? He says, I'm controlling because I would ask him to stop talking about his past when he said he wanted to be held accountable. Hmm. Uh, no problem. I will be going. Right. You should work tomorrow. Not late. Not coming to bed is crazy. Y'all. 
I'm not going to lie. I love my honey sauce. Now, she absolutely prefers um, a movie as well. Um, she likes to watch TV. She does understand that, you know, bills got to be paid, though. So she ain't on my meat about working. But it's like, bitch, don't play with me. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to watch something. You're going to take me to get something to eat. We're going to do something. Okay? So anytime... I can. We get it done. But it she don't require that every day, all day long. That's excessive. Especially when a nigga gotta work. That's very excessive. <sighs> she said, I can post more and more and more. I'm only doing this because the man went on live and dragged me. He did. But I'm done, bro. Yeah, I made a close friends and monetized it. My close friends was bigger than you. I literally wrote in my notes uh, what it would be about. Of course, I got to do what I got to do to put food on my table because you got up and couldn't be a man and left me after you sucked me dry from everything. <laughs> the fuck I told you I wouldn't force you to be a dad or a partner. I told you you could take a paternity test, all that. You so lame. Boy, that nigga done broke her heart, boy. <laughs> Girl, I'm tired. Like, <laughs> his live earlier from him dragging her. I'm going to put that in the beginning. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below, girl. I did what I could. Okay. Um, Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. We're going to talk more about it later. Bye.